two jobs. Um, I run my own business. I've got a vintage shop in Chester. Um, but I also work in a bar as well. Um, but it's, it's quite good because, um, obviously, in my own business, I get out what I put in. So I work very, very hard for it, and I work sort of every day in theory. Um, but I do it with some friends, so we kind of take turns and shifts and things. Um, so it's quite good. It's very demanding on my time, to be fair. Um, I don't have a day where I just sit at home and watch television or something. There's um, nothing on. But <laughs> to be fair, I did that the other night, and I was, like, <laughs> horrified at what was on. Um, but I think I'm very lucky in terms of everything I do, I love, I really enjoy it. Um, so I'm quite lucky in that respect, which is cool. I just mentioned that. I think expectations are quite interesting that perhaps in the last few years, maybe around the 90s where a lot of bands were getting signed, you know, around the time of the big, huge Oasis kind of situations and record labels <coughs> ploughing money into bands, that people were on a wage. Mm. Um, and I don't know how much that happens anymore and for, for new bands mm. anyway the development money isn't Not as there. readily available no. No. and therefore even bands that look on all appearances look really successful are touring the world are playing huge festivals they're skint and they're living at home with their parents mm. um, and i think for a new artist it's it's good to be fairly realistic and enjoy what you do as as a passion um, as a hobby and if anything happens to the point of you're the next Ed Sheeran or whatever where Absolutely. you can retire early, um, then that's brilliant. Mm. But it, it, it's called living the dream for a reason, but, isn't it, I think? But also what Steve was saying about finding jobs that fit, there's a couple of things yeah. I just thought of. I mean, one is, you, you know, you both mentioned this, is, is finding jobs with flexible holiday or, or employers that are willing to let you go because sometimes opportunities are very last minute and you need to book the next day off. And there's a lot of bands I know who have very open employers mm. who are happy to let them go and come and go and not fix to the 25 days a year holiday. That's important. And also, mm. as Steve was saying, skills that, that might actually really benefit the band. The big one is learning to use spreadsheets and learn to use accounting yeah. and management. Because when you do get that opportunity, if you suddenly get offered a show at South by Southwest and you're going to go to America, you'll need to do a budget. And there needs to be somebody in the band that Creative can do Creative people yeah. aren't into spreadsheets, are they? And you, and yeah, but so, in this but, day yeah. and age, I think you have to. You, you're saying about the, the previous model of bands. One of the great advantages now for new bands is you're not saddled with any debt, record company yes, debt. Yeah, so true. you are free to move as you go. There are many artists that... I, I had it recently with a band that I was working with. They were kind of upset because their friend had been signed. And what was interesting, I kind of did sort of pour scorn on it because I could see where that was going. It was just at the end of this cycle. And consequently, this chap did have a deal. He did get a small advance, but nothing was released. And not only was he not released from his contract, he owed the record company a number of thousands of pounds, but they wouldn't let him go to anyone else. So he was actually in the worst situation. So although it is very tough having a job, if you're not in hock to any record company, that is an advantage. You are free and in that respect. And that's not um, a unique incident. No. We've heard yeah. that yes. so many times, and we've seen so many talented people who are tied to a exactly. they can't and, and get the, out of. And the key with all of this, I think it's really, really important that, yes, you're getting some money from your jobs, but it's really important that you monetize those dates that you are playing. So if you're playing a venue and you're playing your own music, make sure, first of all, make sure you're all members of PRS, make sure that you put your set lists in, and make sure that the venue puts the set list into PRS so that you get your well, money. Well, I'd like to come on to the venue thing later. We'll talk about that in more depth. But there was a lady over there. What's your name? Hello, my name's Michaela. Hello, Michaela. And I'm part of a duo called Athenia with Bernie. OK, Bernie. And um, I'm a mother, actually. I've got a three-and-a-half-year-old boy. So I'm a mother by day and a musician by night. How and do you that, cope? That is it's tricky. I, I, I survive on very little sleep because um, we're, we're gigging sort of three to five times a week. We do open mics all over the country. And um, it is a juggling act. It really is. But I do manage it and on very little sleep. And I do make the most of being with my little boy. But um, we've got incredible family support behind us. My husband does PRS. <laughs> He actually logs all of that, which Good. is awesome. Um, we have a lovely wife of Bernie who does sandwiches for us in the car. <laughs> and my husband's incredibly supportive. So we, we do. We, we literally travel. We've travelled sort of miles, hundreds of miles to play a couple of songs. But it is possible. So any mums out there, well, you can I, do it. I was, just with possible. I was just with Charlotte Church in, in, in Texas. And 
she has two kids and Rhiannon, mm -hmm. her manager, has a young kid and they yeah. took them all with them. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, you know, and, they, and, and they were, you know, they were right. hugging the boxes and then the kids were sort of yeah. babysitting. Charlotte so Church, with all due respect, and I like Charlotte Church, but she, she can afford to take them. <laughs> no, but they still, you know, they still have you know, to... Do easy jet yeah. flight or something. No, they, she was still <laughs> lumping, she was still lugging her boxes around like everybody she's, else. She's yeah, a yeah, good yeah, soul, yeah. I thought the uh, sandwiches thing is an interesting point. Yeah. That <laughs> there are ways of making things affordable yeah. and uh, you know instead of spending ridiculous mm. money on Mental this ways. this mm. that oh, and the other the little things and that fast mount food. up mm. yeah that's, that's a no no like, and, and you know, also yeah morning. and within a band if you like the band that's got six members you know delegate each person may have a particular skill within that band and that can be really one is the driver you know if, i know for example with some of the younger bands getting insurance for a van is really really cost effective